Let's open again where we were to Luke 16. We're right in the middle of a prophetic series for this reason. Only God can tell the future. Only God knows and can tell the future. And God has prophesied what is going to happen in the future. And I call this series, What's Next? Now, specifically, we're looking at what's next for every single individual on this planet. The next prophetic event for each one of us, barring the coming in the clouds of the Lord Jesus Christ, his coming to take us to heaven. If that doesn't occur, the next event for all of us is death. What is death? When our body wears out and this vehicle we've traveled in through life stops traveling and our spirit is released and we go into the presence of the Lord. And that's what Luke 16 is all about. For some of you, maybe you've never noticed from verses 19 on, the most horrible doctrine in the Bible. Okay? The least desirable, the hardest to talk about, the worst of all teachings of God's Word. And that is the fact that God himself and, more importantly, God the Son, talks more about hell than he does about heaven. And I want to take this opportunity this morning to talk about what some theologians call that hideous doctrine of hell. I want to remind you of the reality of eternal hell for those, Jesus said, did not believe upon him. The amazing thing about hell is how seldom we ever hear about it. Now, not here. In fact, I recently spoke at uh, one of the largest Christian universities in the world, and the president came to me afterward and said, we're going to replay that sermon. I spoke in chapel. He said, we're going to replay that sermon on our radio station about once a month. He said, that is the first time in the history of this institution a chapel speaker has ever spent the entire chapel service talking about hell. And I did hell, the first chapel, and the second chapel, heaven. And he said, no one ever did that before. And I thought, how interesting. Because Jesus spoke more of hell than heaven. But we speak more of heaven than what? Hell. Yes. Jesus warned of hell from the start to the end of his ministry. In fact, I'm going to take you through briefly this morning the entire gospel by Matthew, all 28 chapters. You're going to find from chapter 3 all the way through to 26, what is Jesus' common theme? More than anything else, he talks about eternal judgment. Jesus preached about the horrors awaiting the unsaved lost ones. He did it in public. He did it in private. He did it with saints. He did it with sinners. Jesus speaks much of it. We speak little, seldom of it. It was almost 20 years ago when I began an intense study through the Bible, every verse, as I read through the Scriptures and looked for every occurrence of this doctrine of the eternal punishment of the lost. And as I was studying, I collected a lot of material. Let me just give you a summary. In fact, someone wrote over 20 years ago a summary of all of the verses. If you just synthesized them, blended them together, and put them in a flowing uh, passage, this is what it would sound like, and I want to share it with you. That hideous doctrine of hell is fading. How often have you thought of it in the past month? Does it make a difference in your concern for others as you witness? Is it a constant burden on your heart? The fate of those who reject Jesus Christ. Our Lord's word on the subject are unnerving. Look here in Luke 16 with me, and specifically in verse 24. Jesus tells us of a rich man who died and went to Hades. That's the abode of the unsaved dead between death and the final judgment. That is the place where all who reject Jesus Christ from the time of Adam and Eve through the time of the end of this planet, all of them go to the same place called Hades. And from the story that Jesus recounts, the actual account, and from a few other passages that that could be linked together, we can infer what this place looks like. And that's what I'd like to do with you this morning. First, it's a place of great physical pain. The rich man's initial remarks conclude with his most pressing concern. Look at verse 24 of chapter 16. He says this, This is a living, immortal soul in the vestibule 
of the lake of fire. This is not hell proper. The Bible describes hell proper in the last book of the Bible. It's called Gehenna. Jesus talked about that too. This place is the waiting room for that. Before the final judgment, Hades is the abode of the dead. This man was there. What does he say in verse 24? I am in agony in this flame, he says. We don't make much of that. We should make much of that. We should let that sink in, what he said. We've all experienced pain to some degree. We can know it makes a mockery of all our goals and desires. If you're in pain, you don't want to eat, you don't want to sleep, you don't want to do anything. You You just shut down when you're in intense pain. Yet we don't seem to know pain as a little hint of hell, a little foretaste of what will befall those who do not know Christ. Pain is a grim reminder every day of what through Christ alone we can be spared from. It's a great reminder. 